Good morning. I am about to start doing some cooking, but before I do that, I'm going to make me some greens. I'm going to make me um, some salad greens, or better known as sprouts. Let me show you what we got. So I have several different methods of sprouting seeds or sprouts beans um, got some beans in here and i just thought i would share all the different ways that i have tried it and i've carried it along with me throughout my travels full time living on the road um, i don't always get greens and veggies and this way i can just pull some out and snack on them and they're refreshing so i go through spurts <laughs> not sprouts. No, I go through spurts of different ways that I like to do it. And um, today I'm going to use this, this method. And this is a sprouter and it usually comes, well I've got this backwards. This usually comes, well it has three trays I think. And most of the time I just use two. And one reason I like this is because I can start some sprouts in one tray one day, wait a couple of days and start another tray, and then wait um, a couple of days and start another tray. That way I have good sprouts um, throughout weeks, and then you just rotate the trays. So you always have fresh, newly sprouted sprouts. And you don't have an abundance that you have to hurry up meat. So I like this method and usually I just use two trays. The other method I've used, it's okay, um, is this double cup method. You put the sprouts down at the bottom. You fill, the, um, fill it with water, swish it around. Then you set it up like that and they drain. And... Because you want your sprouts to always drain. So here's another. These have holes in it. You pour the water. And I'm going to show you this one. Because I'm going to do this one today. Put the sprouts in there. There's holes in there. And so the water just um, goes down to the other one. Waters that tray. And then goes down into the reservoir. Then you just pour this out. You don't want to reuse this. And I'll show you why. But um, this, this method... Uh, it creates a lot of sprouts in one cup and you, uh, you have to rinse them every day two or three times a day actually and um, it's just a little bit more work where this one you want to pour water in it two or three times a day real easy you just pour the water in one thing you do have to remember is to dump this before you pour the water in ask me how you how I know because I've overran this before not doing that then the third method I have had is using a mason jar with a strainer, some type of strainer. Um, my ma mason jar is hold holding some jalapenos right now, so I'm not using going to be using this method. Same kind of ordeal um, with this. You wash your seeds, rinse them, and then you drain them. And how you drain them is you just turn them upside down. And I usually leave them upside down on, on a... In the sink or something like that another kind of you gotta let it drain so i'm not going to use that method today i am going to use this this method so um i have several different brands and several different mixes this is just a, a salad mix it has uh alfalfa this is all organic alfalfa radish broccoli and clover which this one's really good very small seeds only use use about a tablespoon per tray and there's growing instructions on the back another different method i'm showing that picture there um these i've since uh put them in a smaller bag i think these are onion seeds so I may add just a little bit of that to this mixture. And these are beans. These are like mung, mung beans. This is a bean salad mix. Um, lentils, mung beans, radish, and some other bean. But 
anyway, these are um, these are good too. So you can mix them and um, maybe just do a tray of one and then a tray of another. However, you know, or you can just mix them all together and eat them. So I am going to go ahead and put some of these in here, show you the, I'm going to pour the water on them. And then throughout the week, I, I remember <laughs> each day, I'm going to show you uh, what they look like each day. Okay, no. So I am going to take one of the, one tablespoon of this bean salad. You just spread them out. And that doesn't look like much. But you don't want to overcrowd them either. So one of those. And then I'm going to take one tablespoon of this uh, alfalfa, radish, broccoli, and clover. And they're very small. And again, just spread them out. And these kind of sometimes tend to go through the holes, so that's another reason some people like to use uh, a different method. But for the most part, they don't. Put this on top. And little bitty ones that got away. And I use filtered water. Of course, this is going to spread them. But you don't need a whole lot. Some people, well, and I do too, if I'm doing them in a jar or if I'm doing them in a cup, I will soak them overnight first and then uh, get rid of the water. But... As you can see, the water is dripping into the second tray. And this, I don't know why it says do not use the lid when sprouting. I do. I don't want anything in there. <laughs> and then I just tuck these away. Not You don't want to put them in the sun until probably about the fourth or fifth day. So I just sit them on the counter and not in direct sun or anything like that. And then they start sprouting. So... Pretty much, well, the second tray still got water in it, but the first one doesn't. So they're going to be kind of sitting there soaking, and they're going to start sprouting. We'll come back tomorrow, and I will show you how much they have sprouted or not sprouted. Okay, this is day two. Not much sprouting at this point. A little bit of that. Let's see there. A little bit of sprouting. This is why you don't want to use reuse the water. See, that's kind of yellowish. So you want to dump that out and start over. Ooh. And each day I won't do a major clip. Just show you some photos or a short video but that's day two this is day three look at that this is day four some of these aren't looking like they're sprouting But we shall continue. And those are turning green. That's good. Okay, this is the morning of day five. A lot of these did not sprout. So I am thinking that that bag are not fresh. Oh, well, this one. See that one? So I'm not really sure why. Those didn't sprout. Now, these sprouted really good. Mmm. And they taste really good. 
And then there's the basically alfalfa sprouts. So I'm going to take these out and wash them really good and put them in the refrigerator. These are done. Mm -hmm. 